New, new, new. We have new leaks on cards for new selection packs. Not one, not two, but we have the next three selection packs leaked. Let's hop right into this after I announce that we are doing a giveaway. $100. If you like, subscribe, and comment on this video, you'll be entered in the $100 giveaway. Thank you very much. Let me know what you want from the channel, and you will be entered in the giveaway. Now, let's hop right in. As we're hopping in, I'm going to tell you that the last selection pack came out July 11th, and we know how influential was that. Now, will the next pack we're about to get going to be as influential? I'll tell you right now, no. But the overall, all three selection packs combined are going to be immensely impactful. Big, big changes. So based off of this, the next selection pack will be by next week. So let's check it out. This is the article of the leaked cards and leaked assets. So we could see right here confirmed upcoming cards. I'm going to get into this hold up right here. The next pack is going to be called Invincible Raid. What is Invincible Raid? They from Konami from the in-game resources that we data mined introducing B Trooper that wields Link and Fusion summons as well as the trap setting Dynamorphia archetype. Now I'm going to give you deck lists of these decks being used. Look out for the new cards including Nordic and Double D cards. B Troopers deploy insect monsters to wield Link and Fusion monsters. Dynamorphia spend life points to concentrate on powerful effects through trap cards. Both are now available as new archetypes. Now, of course, I'm just reading this leak. They are not available right now. And of course, don't forget about the double D monsters that could become your new trump card, as well as Nordic cards that provide crucial support to the Azir monsters. Now, I don't have prepped for you a new triple D deck, just the ones that they're showcasing here. But I, I could tell that the new cards for triple double D are very likely going to be, we could do any deck type on masterdualmeta.com is just type in not released and then bam. So I know that this card, the Divisor King and the DD Griffin are going to be massively impactful for the double triple D deck type. I'm very excited for that. Now, before we get into the other cards or you know what, let's just get in the other cards and I'll show you the decks of these, which is going to be coming up in the next selection pack. Now, what is all of these cards that we're about to be getting? These are potential cards we're getting. This is essentially from the card set called Battle of Chaos. So if you see anything familiar on screen, I have Secret Rare highlighted because that's generally going to be the best cards we get. Now, are we getting all these cards next week? We are definitely not. They're going to spread this pack over three different months, three different selection packs. We're going to get all of these cards. And I'll be talking about the impact of these cards. And also, I'm going to be showcasing to you the other card sets from the TCG where we are getting packs from. Let's hop back into the article right here. The selection pack number two that got leaked is called Cosmic Ocean. What is this? This is going to be for Marincess. Marincess is going to get their new boss monster. The deck is doing decent in Master Duel, not top tier, but maybe this will push to top tier. This will be your new unaffected queen by everything, kind of like Ignister, but with water waifus. And let's talk about this. This pack contains a torrent of cards that could give your water deck a major boost. Keep an eye out for the new number, exceed monster cards, and, and cards that can unleash combos with Umi, and cards from the Ice Jade and Marincess cards. This pack contains a huge wave of cards that can give your waters a major... Okay, we're just repeating that. Try your hand at some new strategies by bringing out other exceed monsters with Exceed Nash Knight. I don't know what the heck this does. Or by unleashing the latent powers of when Umi is on the field. Ice Jade take the spotlight with their all-powerful ace monster and field spell, but they're not the only cards who could put up a good fight. With their new link monster and extra support cards, the Marincesses are also ready for battle. So this is from the structure deck called Duels from the Deep. Deep Duels. I'm not showcasing decks with this because we are not getting this next month or next week. So just so you know, this is just a little sneak peek of what we're getting within a month. Over a month, we'll be getting these cards. Now let's go into the next leak before I get into decks that'll be relevant by the next week. By tomorrow, uh, next week that is, yes. Cosmic Queen, potential cards to be expecting. I know she's gonna be good. Let's move on to the Newborn Dragon. Oh my. This is when things are gonna get crazy. This is massive support for Sword Soul. This is gonna be top 
tier, tier, a tier one deck, not just tier three, tier two. This will be so insanely impactful. That'll be coming in about two months. Harness the all new power of the dragons with fusion monsters that use fallen albaz as material and a host of other cards that can give blue eyes decks a strong boost. New powerful cards for the rocket, odd eyes and sword soul archetypes will also be available. Keep an eye out for the new dragon cards that will give you an upper hand. Storm the battlefield with fusion monsters that use Albaz's material. Sorry for repeating a lot, it's just their, their main thing and then their follow up. And toughen up your blue eyes deck with the blue eyes jet dragon. Don't forget the brand new support for pre existing archetypes like rocket, odd eyes, sword soul, ghost rick, and vampire. Now, what's missing is they're not mentioning dark magician. What the heck is up with that? Because Dark Magician is getting massive support through Illusion of Chaos, which came from this same pack. I don't know if we're getting this next week, or in a month, or in two months, but this card essentially searches for your Magician of magician Souls. And this card's being used in any of these decks that it's being used in, it's gonna super boost them. So Spiral, super boost. Dark Magician, super boost. Not only can you search the Magician's Souls with the Illusion of Chaos, but you could search for Illusion of Chaos with the Preparation of Rites. So that's going to be absolutely insane. Now getting to the leaks that are coming out next week, I'm going to give you some relevant decks for this. The Dinomorphia, the Bee Trooper, and the Guardian Chimera. So starting off with Guardian Chimera, this card is insane non-targeting card destruction. You also could draw one to two cards and or pop one to two cards in the field without targeting. It also becomes untargetable if you use polymerization. Here is a deck that used it. This is top eight YCS Charlotte deck. And this will be, as you can see, fully legal. This is gonna be fully legal. Let's look at the extra deck, ready? So I'm just looking at the main deck. Here's the extra deck. So when the Guardian Chimera comes out, you could right away Build this deck and dominate with a top eight YCS tournament winning, tournament topping deck. So very good, Guardian Chimera, summon it with the Palmerization. Uh, now, let's talk about the Bee Trooper. Bee Trooper! Is this gonna be top tier? By the way, is this gonna be top tier? Probably not, okay? This won't be top tier, but it will become top tier in two months. This is gonna get a lot better. This version is gonna be just be the best way we could build it by next week. Now, Bee Trooper, will this be top tier? No, I don't think so. But it's B Troopers. And here is a remote dual YCS second place. So top tier, who cares about top tier? You could play a deck that does well, does well enough to get diamond one. You're gonna get diamond one with this, I think so. And here's your deck list from second place remote dual YCS. So copy paste this, screenshot it. We should get all these cards that will be relevant to the deck. And the final card that we'll be getting by next week that will be relevant is the Dinomorphia Kentra Gina. The deck list I'm showing you with this, you can't build it by next week. So I'll tell you right now, yes, she looks exciting. She looks great. She looks like the Metal Gear Rising Raiden, but too bad we're missing the main support for the deck, which is gonna be the Dinomorphia Rex Term. We're not gonna get this by next week. We're not gonna get it next month. We're also not gonna get it in two months. So you really should for a long time even forget about her existing. But if you want to, for some reason, come back to this video in three, four, or five months, here's gonna be a deck list where you could play her. YCS, Top 8, Columbus. Yeah, we are really far off from that. But otherwise, you got the B Trooper deck, zooming out for that, and then you have the Despia deck without branded because we won't have that by next week. And there you go. That is covering the leaks. I will maybe pin a Triple D deck. I didn't get that ready for you because I didn't see it being highlighted here. And there you go. Thank you very much. We out. And don't forget about the giveaway. Let's go. Fools.